is she? She good. How's she feeling? Where's the medication? Good. You never got the medication? She's good. Dude, she's been supposed to be having medication for the past eight days. I need you to sit down and explain this to me, please. You got, you asked for nausea. She's not thrown up once. She's good. Okay, it doesn't matter if she was thrown up once. She has the rotavirus. You were supposed to get medication and go and hold give on. it to her every, no, not hold on. This is not arrogant Nick. She went to a doctor and was prescribed medication that you did not give her. That is child endangerment. It is not child endangerment. So she was prescribed. Zofran. Zofran, which is for what? Do you know what that's for? And stomach problems. Okay, so, okay, so where she, does that have anything to do with rotavirus? Because she threw up milk three times while she was with me, stayed up for seven hours throwing up and having a bad diarrhea. Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean it didn't happen. When I take her to the doctor, you need to give her the medication that she's fucking prescribed, okay? Got it? She Got it? Something. Got it? She, was, she doesn't need anything. She was prescribed it, you didn't give it to her. That is illegal. It's illegal, so let's talk to an officer. Let's see if that's... Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we've got a couple of questions. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Alright. Rock Island, please. I need an officer's staff. So, you want to explain to me how you think she has rotavirus? I went to a doctor and she was diagnosed. <gasps> how was she diagnosed? Did you do any, um, like, testing? The doctor did, dumbass. Do you know how the rotavirus is tested? No. Like, what kind of testing do they do? Does it matter? Do you not trust a doctor over yourself? Your arrogance is a, a really, really getting on my nerves. Because you're flat out lying to me. I'm not flat out lying to you. I took her to a doctor. That's how I got the prescription. You're right. She got a prescription for Zofran, which is for because throwing she up. Th it's for stomach problems. Okay, so... I took her to a doctor, the doctor ran tests, doctor gave her medication. How long were you at the doctor's office? I have no idea. Did she poop while she was at the doctor's office? No! She did not poop while she was at the doctor's office? They just fucking stuck a thing in her butt, though. They stuck a thing in her butt? What so, kind of thing? I don't know. So, d Nick, I'm not arguing with you about this. You don't get to tell me that you uh, that I'm wrong because the doctor diagnosed her. I, I trust the doctor's medical profession and medical opinion. Did, are you a doctor? I'm saying you're wrong. Are you a doctor, wrong, Nick? Are you a doctor? More medical training. Are you a me? doctor, Nick? No. Are you a doctor? So you didn't get to, don't get to tell me that a doctor's diagnosis is wrong. Yes, I do. No, Look you at don't. Her. Look she still looks sick. She just woke up. Ask her. Ask them. She was she sleeping sick. like Look a couple at her minutes ago? Under eyes. Was she sleeping a couple minutes ago? But she still looks sick. Her under eyes are all messed up. She was not sick at all with me. So she didn't cry or get upset at all? Maybe that has something to do with the Zofran I gave her right before. You, okay, I had her you for You do not get to say that days. a doctor. Are you a doctor, Nick? Do you, are you a doctor? Did you? Do, are you a doctor at all? Do you have a medical degree? I don't know about. Does Rhiannon have a medical degree? I don't know. Actually, yeah, she does. So she's a doctor. She's an, an RN. actual doctor. No, 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 not an RN, because I know how you get to be an RN. Are, is she a doctor? Is she? How about an LPN? Nope, she's not. Okay. Do you have any papers stating that you took her to the hospital at all at any point in time? No, well, I did. did. I did take her to the hospital. And her doctor that she went to see diagnosed her with rotavirus and prescribed a medication. You, her because her family doctor didn't see her. Her family doctor didn't see her. Can I see that? Doctor Can I see that? Good day, I didn't see, see it. Her. Can I? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, sure. You see this? This is a med. Can I have it? Sure, you can have it. This is a medical prescription from a doctor that she went to, an actual doctor that she went to. She went and saw one. He ran some tests and says, you know what? She's. I think she's got the rotavirus. Sounds about right. Gave her some medication. Said. Give this to her for the next eight days. She's gonna have some irregularities, but it's not gonna be as bad as the first day because they double dosed her because that's what doctors do. And you, arrogant as frick, decided, oh, you know what? I know better than a doctor that diagnosed her that went to school for several years. I'm just not gonna do it. Do you realize how stupid that is? You can put this on YouTube all you want. Oh, you are be. too arrogant to even get over yourself. A, a medical doctor that went to school for over eight years diagnosed her with something and you, Nick, decided, no, that's not based true. Based on what you told them. No, not based on what I told them. Based on what really the doctor saw. The, I got the notes on what the little visit that you took her to, which you went to a trinity, which means that her normal doctor won't get those notes until I give them to her because you're supposed to take her to Genesis. Okay, well, that was the closest thing to me. She'd been crying for several hours. You really think I cared which one I took her to? 
she was not. So no, it's not a child in danger. Are you? I took her to a doctor and tried to give her medication because she was extremely sick. The doctor prescribed her medication, and once again, this arrogant Person? thing decided to not give her medication that she was prescribed by a medical professional. And I'm getting really sick of this. Okay. She was prescribed Zofran, which is for nausea and vomiting, which okay. she gave her milk in during a like over the hundred degree temperatures we had last week, or whatever. Oh, oh, you and mean then, like my house is okay. So who, who gets the kid right now? Me. She does. Okay, so you're good. But yes, she's trying to say that I am in child endangerment and I'm proving I'm not. Where's the medication? He didn't get it. There is no medication. Yes, There's there no is. Need for it. Zofran. Listen, is it still at a pharmacy? Yeah, I have to go pick it up. Then go pick it up. She's been supposed to be taking it for the past eight days. She started a medication that she didn't finish. Okay, well, this go, is a problem. Go pick it up, and then she can start the medication. But then I have to take her back to the doctor because she started the medication. And she was supposed to so finish it. Take her it. back to the doctor. She, he doesn't get in trouble for this at all. He gets to continue to do this to put my child in danger continuously. It's not a crime about not giving kids meds. Meds that were prescribed by a doctor. It's yes. not a crime at all. No. So he's allowed to continuously not treat her right, and it's okay. That's yeah. okay. She's perfectly fine. She's not perfectly fine. Really? Look okay. at her. So we're not going to sit here and argue in the, in the police department with other people here for other business. My daughter is perfectly fine. She had no issues whatsoever. Her bowel movements, yeah, everything. Yeah, you take such so What's the medicine too? for? It's for Nausea. stomach upset. Nausea, vomiting, and such. This happened because she cried for literally almost all night. Every time I got her to calm down, okay. she would wake up and start crying again. I took her to the doctor. They ran some tests. They were like, whoa, she's got rotavirus, which is extremely contagious. She did not get tested for okay. rotavirus. If you need to give her the meds, give her the meds. Okay. So why is, it, why is it okay for him to keep doing this? How come every time I take her to the doctor, it's something different? How come he, who is not a medical the, I don't know professional, the medical history. I have it. So it's not child endangerment at all to continuously not give the child medication that I take her to the doctor for. Continuously. Every time I take her. No. I have all that's the documents. Not, that's not messed car. up. It's not illegal to not give your kid meds if you don't want to give your kids meds. Just like he people, doesn't ever just like people don't meds. have to vaccinate their kids. It's the same thing. He doesn't ever give her meds. Well, every time he takes her to the doctor, to court he... and try to get different custody arrangements. Well, every time he takes her to the doctor, he over-medicates her. He throws all this stuff at her. Stuff no. that he's, he gives her medication that he's been prescribed to give her. Because Rhiannon's an RN, but when I take her to an actual medical professional, not a nurse, I don't get anything. Uh, she doesn't get what she needs. All I'm trying to do is make sure my kid's taken care of, and you're too arrogant to see if that. If the doctor doesn't want to give you what you think your kid needs, then that's up to the doctor. No, she's not a doctor. She's an RN, and he trusts his RN more than a doctor who went to school for eight years. Go ahead, put this on YouTube, not my permission. Okay. Sure. We're not going to argue. Keep treating your daughter like shit, Nick. Excuse me, sir. Can I have your name and badge number just for my record? It's Sergeant Runner 1259. Thank you, sir. Just wait until she leaves. Then. I, I, I plan to. I'll be right here. I'm going to stop my video now. You what? I'm going to stop the video now.